make you a what he like incredible. Someone definitely lost their jobs when these secrets got out. Hey everybody, I'm Ricky with Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 biggest video game leaks. I hope you have more to say for your sake. For this list, we're looking at the biggest leaks in video game history, whether they be on purpose or accidental. You ready? Number 10, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. The life you knew before is gone. Today, we fight to bring it back. In spring of 2011, Kotaku acquired and then leaked a huge amount of information about Modern Warfare 3, a whole six months before its release. Some anonymous sources, presumably from inside Activision and the development studios, were responsible. They had story details, map details, information about which characters would and wouldn't be in the game, as well as new multiplayer modes. It doesn't take the most powerful nations on Earth to create the next global conflict. They had a full list of where every campaign mission would take place and even who was going to die. Kotaku later said it was one of the biggest leaks they'd ever seen, forcing Activision to start a huge marketing campaign to try and save the game. The symbols you have always looked to for strength are smoldering in Rome. Number 9, Mass Effect 3. We have a reading. The anticipated conclusion to the Mass Effect original trilogy had quite a few leaks to deal with before its release, when an unfinished beta was mistakenly uploaded to Xbox Live. Fans were skeptical about some aspects of the early design, like its three game modes emphasizing story, combat, or both equally. But rather than stick to their guns, Bioware actually took feedback on board. What happened? I'd rather discuss it in private. Mass Effect 3 was probably all the better for being leaked ahead of time. Unfortunately, the game's story and poorly received ending were also revealed, and the studio didn't take action to change these. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. Number 8. Watch Dogs Legion. So gob shut, eyes peeled, yes? Yeah? I have no eyes, and if I did, I wouldn't peel them. Just before E3 2019, a wealth of details about the third Watch Dogs game made their way online, only for all of them to be confirmed by Ubisoft's official social media accounts and their press conference just days later. Legion is set in a post-Brexit tumultuous version of London, and will focus even more heavily on hacking and drones than previous entries have. Time to go. They'll be on to me. Most interesting, though, is the ability for players to control any NPC. We can't currently see how well this will work since the game isn't releasing until early 2020, but it's certainly intriguing. Number 7. Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U Nintendo is notoriously protective over the Smash Bros. rosters, and this 2014 leak was no exception. Anonymous posts on 4chan distributed a handful of leaked screenshots, some revealing characters who had yet to be announced. The leaks were further verified by YouTube videos also detailing new characters, including Bowser Jr. and Shulk, and some returning characters we didn't know about, like Ness and Dr. Mario. Nintendo shut down the leaks as quickly as possible, and nobody knows who was responsible. There are theories that it was someone at the ESRB, but this is unlikely, because the ESRB doesn't receive the games they rate. Number 6. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. A CD Projekt Red employee's Google Drive was accidentally made public, and though it wasn't available for too long, it was long enough for nosy hackers to sift through the files and find everything in them worth spoiling, which was a lot. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. A wealth of character and story information, including a vast bestiary with additional monsters that didn't make the final cut, was revealed. Even the ending was spoiled, as well as numerous missions and a selection of concept art. The studio didn't take action on this and didn't change late game details, instead just asking fans to avoid the files if they didn't want spoilers. The information appears of little use. 
though at least it seems you kept busy. Number five, Fallout 4. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? The direct sequel to the acclaimed Fallout 3, people took any information they could get about Fallout 4. And thanks to a big leak in 2013, they got a lot. You know what happens when people get robots to do all their work? They get fat and lazy, that's what. Fallout 4 hadn't even been announced by the time some documents were sent to Kotaku's Jason Schreier. These documents were largely scripts used for casting calls, but they did reveal things we know to be very true, that the game would be set in Boston and would feature synths in a big way. Preston Garvey's character was revealed by the script as well, as were the details of the opening monologue and the cryo chambers. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. Number four, Walmart Canada. We're starting with a game that we announced a few weeks ago through our friends at Walmart Canada. Right before E3 2018, a very suspicious list of titles was spotted on Walmart Canada's website by Twitter user Wario64. Walmart responded, saying that they didn't know for sure which games would and wouldn't be announced at E3 that year and blamed the technical glitch, but it turned out that many of the listings were correct. Chief among them was Rage 2, mostly because the at Rage Twitter account poked fun at the listing while inadvertently confirming the sequel's existence. Is the rocket the crusher talking acting? And it can be yours wild and black. Rage at least they got to joke about it at E3 2018. Perhaps best known for their low prices and ability to keep a secret. Other predictions included a new Assassin's Creed, though they do one of those every year, and more interestingly, Borderlands 3, which wasn't even announced until spring of 2019. Okay, keep me down. Number 3, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. These countries don't have the most basic building blocks to support a democracy. Sledgehammer almost made it to Advanced Warfare's release without a big leak, but this wasn't meant to be. Only a week before it hit shelves, footage of an early copy of the final game was broadcast on Twitch for all to see. It was quickly shut down by Activision, though players still got a good look at lots of new multiplayer features like the DNA bomb. The copy was allegedly stolen, and Sledgehammer executive Glenn Schofield took to Twitter to express his disappointment, saying it was a real bummer that somebody would steal and leak the game after the team had worked so hard on it. Number 2, Far Cry 2 and Splinter Cell Conviction. I ran the rivers red with their blood for his own profit. How can such a man be stopped? A 2GB RAR file found itself posted online in 2006, lifted straight from Ubisoft and betraying a myriad of details about games that hadn't even been announced. While the info about a new Prince of Persia game didn't surprise anybody, the bigger news was Far Cry 2 and the fifth Splinter Cell game, which hadn't been named at this point. I've seen this kind of work before. Belongs to the same savages that trained me then destroyed my family. While it was quickly removed and lawyers were enlisted to stop details being passed around forums, the leak seemed to be an accidental one on the part of Ubisoft themselves and not the fault of malicious hackers. How do you stop a man who has the power to turn a nation into a graveyard? Not quite at the end yet. Almost there though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, back to business. Number one, Half-Life 2. Originally intended for a late 2003 release, and even brought out at E3 that summer, Half-Life 2 didn't reach consumers until the very end of 2004. With no news from Valve about delay details, the radio silence over Half-Life 2 got too much for some people to bear. More than a year before it was released, German hacker Axel Gamb hacked into the company and found the game's source code. But Gamb ended up feeling so guilty about the source code getting online that he sent an email confessing to Valve's Gabe Newell and asking for a job. Instead, he found himself arrested, but was only sentenced to two years probation. I've been working undercover as a, as a hack. Pro tip, do not make your password password1234. Trust me on this one. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to check out our video over here on Mojo Place for more gaming goodness, and I'll see you next time.